This is day one of classroom makeover. I just showed up to my classroom. I'm out of breath because I just unloaded a bunch of stuff that I've either bought or been donated and I needed to drop it off here, but I'm a little overwhelmed. Let me just show you an overview of my room right now. It's June 9th, so they're like starting to paint walls. My carpet's already clean, but my goal this year is to get all of my makeover done in the month of June so that I do not have to come up here at all in July. So let me show you. Okay, so pretty much everything scooted to the middle, which is pretty much how I left it, but they're painting, so they moved everything off the walls. I am changing my theme completely. So all the bulletin boards, everything on the walls is pretty much coming down. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, y'all here's the update i took everything off this one everything off that and all the numbers they're on the floor i'm keeping that and using it possibly and this is all the stuff i'm selling um i'm leaving the borders on i'm selling the borders but i'm leaving them on because my new border has not come in yet and so i want to get this bulletin board done and then all i would have to do is change out the border but i don't want to put like the thing's too close to the border, so I'm leaving it on, and then when my new one comes in, I'll just swap it out. And then I think I'm just going to go ahead and take this down because this color, this blue, does not match my new theme. This pink we can work with, this blue does not. So I'm going to completely take this down in a second too, but I'm going to work on the alphabet and the clock and start working my way over there. My goal today is to take everything down that I'm not using, so...
quick update. Got this completely off. It was my word wall in Bell Valley. Completely took that off. Um, I took the border off of this and my dates because both of those will change. I think I'm going to leave this for now. I left it last year at the beginning of the year. Then I take it down and then I put it back up at the end of the year. So I haven't decided if I'm going to do that again or if I'm going to change this. But we're going to leave that for now. Um, I got all the border off the whiteboard. And my next task is to take the blue down because I'm for sure not using that. So I'm going to do that. And I'm probably going to take the affirmation mirror down and possibly this corner right here. But I have to keep reminding myself. To focus on the walls like I'm looking at all of this and I'm thinking about everything inside of there and it stressed me out but I'm just focusing on removing things from the wall <laughs> Hey y'all, here's all the stuff that I just ripped off off the walls. I also went in my cabinet and I have all of these things right here that I have not used this year. So that's all going to be sold too. And I'm so overwhelmed right now. Like, oh my goodness. So my plan is to focus on cleaning up this pile, taking off the staples out of all of these products and organizing them in this this is gonna my, be my sale box this is what's for sale and then i'm gonna go through that box and make sure there's nothing i want to keep the update nothing really on any of the walls and i took my cute little mirror down i'll probably start with this tomorrow and here is my to sell and my donation pile so hopefully all that stuff will be out of here by the end of the week and hopefully i can purge some more stuff okay y'all i'm pretty much done for today i'm leaving earlier than i thought i would because i've hit a wall and i'm just tired and there's not much else for me to do so i have taken everything off the walls every single thing it makes me so sad um, and I have started cleaning out to make a donate and sell pile. So I will start selling and trying to get those things out of my classroom. And I think tomorrow I'm going to start putting things up on the bulletin boards. I'm not going to put anything up on the cinder block walls because I think they'll probably paint them. Or if there is any chance that they would paint them, I want to leave everything off so they can um easily because there's a couple spots that i yanked off with my hot glue um but yeah i've got my cell pile my donate pile i've got everything off the wall and i already have all of my new decor theme prepped like i already have it printed and laminated and cut there's a couple things i still want to do um that i've forgotten to do that weren't included in the pack that i'm going to ask her to include um but I have a lot of things to put up on the wall, but I forgot to get my laminator spray or my, um, the shine spray that takes the shine away. So I am taking that home with me from here and I'm going to do that tonight, um, so that those things will be ready to be on the wall. But yeah, I'm a little overwhelmed. There's just, a, every time that I come in here, I have like a very clear set of what I need to do. And then I walk in here and I get so overwhelmed. I just have so much more stuff than I can even anticipate. And I'm trying to minimize it. So I'm really trying to purge and get stuff out. But that's the update. Tomorrow we will purge some more and get some more things up on the wall. All right, y'all. Here is day two of my classroom makeover. My classroom is just how I left it. And right now I think I'm going to get some things up on the wall. I started out by spraying everything that was laminated with this non-shiny spray paint. It worked so well and I'm so glad that I took the time to do it. Once I got to school, I decided to attack my reading wall. I knew exactly how I wanted it 
And so I laid everything out and then I used the little tape trick to measure out things correctly. Throughout this video, you'll get a little bit of a sneak peek of my new theme, but I cannot wait to show you the final product when everything is done. My goal this year for my classroom is to minimize everything, minimize all the things that I have and minimize all the decorations that I have. I feel like last year and in the past, I have covered the walls from head to toe with decorations and educational posters and it's just been too much and it's too overwhelming. I want my students and I to have a clear, clean and organized space to walk into for a fresh learning environment. And I feel like to do that, I am only gonna fill the bulletin boards. I'm not gonna put anything on the cinder block walls this year. And I'm just gonna see how it goes. After the bulletin boards are filled up, I'm just gonna go from there. With that being said, that means that I have to purge a lot of things, including my old classroom decor, and I'm going through all my cabinets and all my storage, and I'm cleaning out. If I haven't used it in the past, two years then it is going on facebook marketplace so yeah i'm pretty much purging everything my classroom decor all my cabinets i'm going to go through everything and make sure that everything i have is something that i will actually use this year i feel like as teachers you guys know that it's so hard to purge and get rid of things because your brain is always thinking oh my goodness what if i can use that next year or the year after that and I have just got to stop that mindset because I just don't have enough storage in my classroom. And so I'm doing it this year, y'all. I'm ripping the band-aid off and I am hardcore purging. So my goal for this project is to be done at the end of June and to not step foot back in my classroom until I am contracted to on August 1st. Something to know about me is that if I have something to do or if I know I'm going to do something, it will bother me until it gets done. And so I know that I will not be able to relax all summer until I get my classroom for the most part finished. So I have the rest of this week and then I'm going on vacation next week. And then when I get back, I'll have one week before June is over. So I have about seven days left to get this classroom done. I'm hoping to get it all done because I really just want to take the entire month of July off and set that boundary so that I am not up at the school every single day in July. Of course you guys know that I will keep you updated. Let's hope that I can get it done. alphabet is done i'm definitely gonna add stuff down here and change the border out but my big goal was to get the alphabet done got it done it looks pretty darn even to me and my next task is working on the affirmation mirror okay next up is the affirmation wall i don't have the border to put around it but we're gonna put what we have up and this is my first time using this, so we'll see how it goes.
Here is my affirmation mirror so far. It will look way better once I get some border. Um, this was probably my favorite area of my room last year. And I love it so much already, but I'm going to get some border and border around the mirror. And that like just tied it together last year. I know it's going to tie this one together, but I have to get stuff done. I cannot wait on the border. So here's the update. Task is to make my flip chart calendar. So I've got everything laid out. I'm going to hole punch, put the rings in, and then I will go put it over there. Okay, y'all, I'm putting the little dates on my clip. I just hole punch them and I'm ready to assemble. So here's where I'm at. I have tried to purge and I just like can't look at the stuff anymore. So I'm not going to purge because I'm just not in the right mind space for it. I got my flip calendar done, the affirmation station, with the mirror and my alphabet and half of my reading wall back there. And so I'm kind of just like at a point where I need to move on to another bulletin board. But I drew out a map, a um, blueprint of my classroom. And that's on Eli's iPad. So I don't want to do something and then it be different because I was really pleased with how my blueprint turned out. So I got two uh, things from Ikea and I think I'm just going to build those because they have to get done eventually. And I can't think about anything else. Like I need something where it's just like do it and you don't have to think about it. So I think that's my plan. Here's my progress for day two. I changed out my little cart, so cute. I also changed out the date. 
I've reorganized my for sale and donation pile. And I attempted to do this Ikea thing, except I tried to do it with my hands and it hurt like fire. So I need to grab a screwdriver and bring that back. I got my alphabet and reading wall little top sign done. I obviously still need to change out the border and add some things to the bottom. I got my affirmation mirror done, but I need to add border to the side as well. And I think that's all I'm going to do today. Okay, this is what I have finished now. Um, I put our voice levels up, our hand signals, and then right here is where our um, whole brain teaching rolls are going to go. I need to change the border as well, but um, it has not come in yet. And then also our whole brain teaching rolls. I need to print those off tonight, but I got that done.